16,402 kilograms of alkaloids and 14,261 of cocaine and 2,141 of marijuana were seized in last days in the frontal fight that the countries of the regions are carrying out against the transnational crime of drug trafficking in support of information of the Colombian Navy. Six operations were carried out in the Caribbean Sea and 11 in the Pacific Ocean allowing this important result, where national and international organizations were economically and logistically affected, avoiding that about $491.3 million, which is the value of the seized alkaloid, entered their coffers. 59 subjects were captured, 20 boats and one aircraft seized for mobilizing the alkaloid in international waters. Thanks to the international cooperation agreement in the fight against drug trafficking with the countries of the continent, the Colombian Navy, through information provided in a timely manner to the authorities of Costa Rica, the United States, Panama, Ecuador, and Mexico, managed to seize 1,519 kilos of alkaloids in the development of different operations in the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean in recent days. 11,270 kilos of alkaloids were seized in the development of international operations in the waters of the Pacific Ocean by the authorities of the Anti-Drug Department of the Intelligence and Security Directorate of Costa Rica, the Joint Interagency Task Force of the United States Southern Command, the National Coast Guard of Costa Rica, the Contra Narcotics Police of Ecuador with the support of information provided by the Navy of Colombia. During these operations, 12 vessels were seized, including a fishing vessel carrying 300 kilos of cocaine. Similarly, in the Caribbean Sea, 5,132 kilograms of cocaine hydrochloride were seized in seven operations carried out by different United States agencies, including the DEA in international waters south of Laguna Bruce in Honduras and north of Uribia in Guajira. The Colombian Navy will continue developing joint, coordinated, and combined operations against drug trafficking organizations in order to close national and international maritime spaces to this multinational scourge that affects the public health of the youth, not only of the Colombians and neighboring countries, but of the entire planet.